BTC yield should be the primary KPI metric for every corporation. Here's why this is genius. But first, what is it? BTC yield is the increase in Bitcoin per fully diluted share. For example, if a company holds one Bitcoin and they acquire or earn another Bitcoin without issuing any new shares, their BTC yield is 100%. The company increased their Bitcoin holdings per share by 100%. This is a really strong KPI for every corporation to track. Now think about this in the context of how people evaluate equities today. A lot of intelligent investors look at metrics like dividend yield. For instance, a typical company in the S&P 500 might offer a dividend yield of anywhere from 1% to 3%. On the surface, that sounds attractive. You buy shares and you get 1% to 3% back in cash every year, as long as the company doesn't cut or reduce the dividend. You can do whatever you want with this cash, but there are a couple of major problems with this. First, you're getting paid in dollars, money that can be printed at will. Sure, you get the cash, but no one really wants to hold on to cash for the long term. You're either going to spend it or reinvest it in something else. So in a way, the company is signaling, we don't know what to do with this money, so we're giving it back to you. It's an admission that they're not a growth company anymore, that they've run out of good ideas. The second problem is that the yield is very small. Earning 1% to 3% sounds okay, but that's a low return in a currency that's constantly losing value. And when you realize Bitcoin is growing at a 60% compound annual growth rate right now, that 1% to 3% starts to look even smaller. This is where BTC yield becomes a genius metric for companies to adopt. Instead of handing out fiat dividends, companies could acquire Bitcoin and that portion of their balance sheet would grow at around 60% per year. Shareholders aren't getting a measly 1% to 3%. They're participating in the exponential growth of Bitcoin's monetization. Another reason BTC yield is such a smart strategy is that it actually strengthens the company. Many companies borrow money to buy back shares or pay dividends, which makes them fragile and risky. But if you funnel your free cash flow into Bitcoin, you're not decapitalizing the company. You're recapitalizing it. You're making the balance sheet stronger, fortifying the company, and creating long-term resilience. The third and maybe most interesting reason why BTC yield should be the primary KPI for every company on the planet has to do with how the financial system works today. Equity markets are monetized. Everyone is saving in the S&P 500 or a diversified global equity portfolio like VTI. Vanguard Total Market Index, which holds nearly $2 trillion. These funds just buy every equity in the market, inflating valuations across the board. Any real company with a positive valuation is trading above zero, creating a system where companies can exploit the structure in a nearly infinite feedback loop. Here's how it works. Companies start by funneling their free cash flow into Bitcoin, building an initial Bitcoin position. As Bitcoin grows, it becomes a significant part of the company's market cap. But because the company still has an operating business, its shares trade at a premium over the value of the Bitcoin it holds. Let's say a company's Bitcoin holdings make up 50% of its market cap, and it's trading at a NAV premium of 2. If the company issues 50% more shares and uses that capital to buy more Bitcoin, it effectively doubles its Bitcoin holdings. That's a BTC yield of 100%. And because the market continues to value the company at a premium, even after issuing more shares, this process can be repeated indefinitely. Look at what Michael Saylor has done with MicroStrategy. He's issued more shares, bought more Bitcoin, and the company's stock still trades at a premium. And this is with a very small operating business. Shareholders are happy because they're getting BTC yield instead of fiat dividends. The company is stronger because its balance sheet is fortified with Bitcoin. It's the ultimate financial hack. Companies can keep selling their overvalued equity, buying more Bitcoin, increasing their Bitcoin per share, and driving up their market cap. This cycle can continue until the broader market realizes that blindly saving in equities isn't as efficient 
as saving in Bitcoin. Until valuations in the equity markets come back down to earth, companies that adopt BTC yield as their primary KPI will continue to benefit massively. Shareholders will see huge gains, companies will become stronger, and this arbitrage opportunity, sell overvalued equity and buy Bitcoin, has the potential to keep running until the world wakes up and realizing they should be saving in Bitcoin, not equities. Thanks for watching everyone, and see you next time.